I'm going to teach you how to find a job as a 3D artist step by step. First of all, you have to show that you have skills in modeling, texturing and materials, rendering of all sorts, and even making cool animations like this inside Blender. If you don't have these skills, go to YouTube, type in Blender Modeling Tutorial, watch that, then type in Blender Texturing Tutorial, watch that as well. After that, go to Blender Rendering Tutorial, watch that shit, and finally type in Blender Animation Tutorial. And and watch that as well. If you still don't get it, then go to my channel and look at how many free videos you got where I make shit like a pro. Watch those videos and take notes and try to pick up as many tricks as you can. You're also gonna have to make sure your topology is decent because the studios are going to check. So go watch Thomas Colin 3D and watch his videos. Learn how to do topology correctly. Thomas is currently working as a professional in a studio. He's got exactly what you guys are dreaming about. So go join his Discord and ask him how he did it. Also join my Discord where we have over 2,000 people talking about blender every day you're gonna learn a lot of shit by just being part of different communities as you can see there's a whole bunch of people that do all types of stuff here after that you have to figure out a way to showcase your work properly first of all you're going to have to produce multiple artworks which all show various different skills like this if you don't know where to start i literally show you my projects from start to finish you can just follow along any of my tutorials and create exactly the same thing as i'm creating you can put that in your portfolio and you're going to look good here's an example of an artwork that shows hard surface modeling skills, organic modeling skills, materials, textures, lighting, rendering, designing car interiors, realism, and every studio or employer wants to see exactly those skills. I would recommend you make at least nine artworks. They don't have to be some next level shit. Something relatively simple like this will do. Just make sure you got a little bit of variety. And again, if you need some feedback, you can get that on Discord. Or if you're a patron of mine, then talk to me or talk to Thomas Colin 3D and you're gonna get some more personalized guidance guidance. Once you've made a couple of artworks, create a new Instagram account. You don't have to worry about the logo or even the name. You can just use your first name, add 3D or add studio or add design, whatever. Your logo can just be a black background with two letters and put them in a circle or something. It's not rocket science. Post your least attractive artworks first and then save the coolest ones last because then they're going to appear on the top of your profile. In your bio, you're going to write that you're a Blender 3D artist. I didn't do it, but you should probably put your email up first and any links that you have also put them in there. I'm talking about ArtStation, LinkedIn, your website, whatever you got. Now you have a good foundation which shows that you have skills and you officially qualified to do the job. That's one of the most important things but you still have to figure out a way to find the job and to convince them to hire you. To do that you're probably going to need a CV. I'm not gonna teach you that in this video but go to YouTube, type in how to create a CV and again go ask Thomas Colin for more advice on this. He's been around the block in the industry. If you're his patron, he can check out your CV, he can give you some tips, and you're going to be fine. It's not that hard. Once you got all that under control, now you're ready to go hunting. Go to ChatGPT and type in something along these lines. Hey, ChatGPT, how are you? Fucking hell. Couldn't he just say, I'm good, thank you, how are you? Then type in, what are some of the best job searching websites in Warsaw, or whichever city on earth you live in, or whichever country on earth you live in? You might also want to look for jobs in other countries and other cities, but it's probably better to search for jobs in places where you speak the language. If you don't speak the language, that automatically cuts you off from 90% of the workplaces for most jobs. But since we're talking about 3D, a lot of studios are international, so you still have a good chance even if you don't speak the local language. Hit enter, and now he's going to list out a bunch of websites and platforms. You're going to make an account on all of these, and you're going to spend the next two or three or four months, as long as you have to, cleaning up every single post on these websites which is somewhat related to your job now the rest is really simple i don't even have to explain this to you because you already know this but i'm gonna tell you anyway because some people have a surprising lack of common sense search for a job position probably a good way to start is to just type in 3d artist you don't even have to bother checking the categories you might have to put in your city then hit search and guess what now you got a whole bunch of open job positions this is just an example website you got a whole bunch of other websites where you're going to find a whole bunch of other companies and positions find the job and read the description you don't have to fit their requirements they're describing the ideal person that they want the closer you are to these the better and if you're closer than all the other candidates you're gonna get higher and if you're good then chances are you are a lot closer 
desert because most people are shit. So just because you see 85 people who applied doesn't mean that you have lots of competition. Unbelievably enough, most people don't even know how to conduct themselves professionally over email. Most people don't even look presentable in a photo. Most people cannot even write a formal email. Most people cannot even spell properly or use capital letters. So unless you're one of those people, it's really not that hard to compete. And if you are one of those people, then you got bigger problems to worry about than looking for a job. You should be in elementary school right now. Go back to YouTube and search for something like how to get hired. There's a bunch of very long tutorials on how to do this. Here's an example of one that I watched. It worked very well for somebody very close to me. They smoked their competition because of what this video taught them. So if you don't know how to act, you better go back online and make sure you can present yourself like a professional. Don't try to come in there like me being shirtless. I'm not here trying to get hired. I'm here to yell at you and teach you about Blender and how to be an adult. So make sure you got your basic shit together before you go out into the world expecting people to give you something. How am I gonna give you something if you can't even pull up with a fresh haircut, a firm handshake, decent social skills, decent sense of fashion, and a clear and professional way of speaking? Nobody wants to talk to those kind of people. You can tell from a mile away when somebody never leaves the house and plays video games all day. They conduct themselves like a child, and getting hired is no place for a child. So keep that in mind, get your shit together. Now here's where most people fuck up. Most people apply for three positions, they wait one week, they don't get accepted, and then they give up and go back to working minimum wage or go back to being unemployed because you think that this is not working and you think that these websites are a scam. You should be applying to at least 10 positions per day if you're serious about this. If you don't have a job, you should be spending a full-time schedule online looking for jobs, tweaking your profile, sending in applications, writing letters, connecting with people, speaking to people. If you're actually trying to get a job, you actually have to take this seriously. Otherwise, any fool will get hired. And guess what? Companies don't want to hire fools. And like I said, you should be doing this for a couple of months. This is what it takes to get a good position that you want. Most companies that you apply to, they're not even going to respond to you. They're not even going to acknowledge your existence. It's the same as when you guys send DMs to chicks on Instagram. Most of them don't even open your message because you can see from a mile away that you're not even competitive. And even if you are competitive, she's got a bunch of other people in her DMs if she's hot. The same way an attractive job position got a bunch of people applying. They probably look at three of them, they pick one and they forget about it so keep that in mind you gotta spam this shit every day eventually you're gonna run into something more than likely it's gonna take you a couple of months if you're not willing to do that, then just comment below, I'm not willing to do that. I don't want to succeed in life. I'm not willing to put in the work because I'm lazy. I'm going to go back to playing Roblox and talking shit about Aryan when he's very serious about these videos. But if you are serious about this, invest in your skills. You can hire somebody to make a portfolio. You can hire somebody to make you a CV. Hire a mentor to guide you through this shit. Whether it's for your skills, whether it's for looking for a job, whether it's for your professional conduct, whether it's for your speaking and language skills, invest in yourself and it's going to show it's going to put you way ahead of the competition they're not only looking at your portfolio they're looking at everything else about you if you got an anime picture get that shit off the screen you're an adult now there's no more time for video games no more acting like a fool and talking about nonsense on the internet to random people now you have to take care of your life this is serious you've had your fun now forget about it and move on and do something with your life before you know it you can afford a better apartment and a better view you can actually start to enjoy life because you've put in the work somebody has recognized it and decided to put you into their company and pay you well and now you can actually start to live your life properly but if you want to stay unemployed and be a nobody and be completely insignificant and useless that's okay we still need people like that to run the world the more people are down there the cooler i look up here and the less competition it is for me and all your girlfriends are going to be looking at guys who put in the work so more for us i just made a new rumble account and i'm about to post a video there i can speak more freely there without worrying about getting banned so if you're serious about this shit go watch my videos because this is what i talk about i will tell you how to get your shit together how to meet cool people how to be a fully grown man how to conduct yourself like an adult and like a professional and how to make it in life also follow me on instagram where i post stories all the time i share my worldview there and i make you use your head with the shit i'm posting i'm trying to redirect your mind in a direction where it's thinking about something which is going to benefit you also follow me on twitter where i give you plans for how to progress i teach you about how the world works Right now, I'm making a step-by-step -step guide for how to monetize any skill that you have and how to buy your freedom. Also, check out my Blend Rebirth where I put everything about modeling. I'm about to add a hundred more pages about texturing as well. And in future updates, we're also going to talk about animation, product visualization, and a bunch of other skills which you're going to need if you want to become a pro. But at least like the fucking video, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on other platforms. I give you a whole bunch of value for free. And anybody who follows me on any social media can only tell you, if you follow me, 
you're going to learn something useful. Your life can only get better. We're also about to do a challenge on Discord where I'm going to challenge you guys to create a product and you're going to compete with me and everybody else in the community. Make sure to join my Discord and stay tuned for that. Let me know what you want to see next and I'll see you in the next one.